Now, the rise in cases here on the South Plains and more people interested in getting tested we want to bring in Dr. Samir Islam to break down this trend with us tonight. Dr. Islam, we thank you for joining us here. Now, should people watching consider this a good sign that so many people were getting tested today or a bad sign? How, how do you take this? Well, I think it's a little bit of both. So it is encouraging that people are taking the initiative to get their health and to get tested. But the bad part is why? Why are people worried about getting COVID-19? Were they practicing social distancing? Were they environments where they could be exposed to the virus? And I think it's kind of a two-edged sword here. Hear from some people of the reason that we're seeing more cases is simply because we're doing more testing. Is that an accurate statement? Well, certainly that is true, but I can tell you by far the most common reason and the reason we are seeing more and more cases is that people are getting exposed. Unfortunately, a lot of us are not practicing social distancing. We're not wearing a mask whenever we go outside. We're not staying six feet away. And so it's these inability to us to do the social distancing that did keep the virus at bay is making it more likely for us to get more and more cases. And is that what you attribute the rise in cases uh, in young people that the governor mentioned in a trend we're seeing here as well? Just people sort of forgetting what they're supposed to be doing? Absolutely. Unfortunately, you know, whenever the economy opened up and businesses opened up, people made the assumption that the COVID-19, the coronavirus was on its way out and things were not going to happen and things were going to be A-OK. And unfortunately, because of that, more and more people are getting exposed, not wearing masks. And I certainly understand when I was younger, I thought that I was immune to everything. I thought I was healthy and everything was OK. But we know that COVID-19, as the governor said, is here. It's in Lubbock. It's across the world. And that the more that we expose ourselves or don't practice social distancing, the more likely we can get the virus even whenever we're younger. You know, people are starting to think of summer vacations. They've been cooped up. They're staying in summer camps. Those are opening up too. Are there extra safety precautions that we should think about if we choose to travel and when we choose to travel? Yeah, you know, I think it's a very hard decision because I completely understand that, you know, it's summertime, people want to go on vacation. They've been cooped up. I would really honestly consider whether you should travel or not because there are risks with that. Having said that, though, if you do choose to travel, I would recommend for you to go by car as opposed to plane. I would recommend that you certainly do practice social distancing, wear your mask whenever you go outside, and make sure you wash your hands. Always important there. It's been a while since we've been able to talk to you. Any changes in treatments, uh, medications being used, uh, symptoms we should watch out for? Any changes in those types of things than what we've heard from people in the past? So. Because of how rapid COVID-19 is occurring and the new research that we're having, we don't have any definitive treatments that are out there currently for COVID-19. Mainly it's supportive care, supporting the immune system and making sure that we can keep people safe. We're seeing different symptoms that are being developed or being presented with. Some, are, some of the more GI symptoms are being presented, including diarrhea, uh, nausea, vomiting, things like that. But those typically are associated with the respiratory symptoms, including fever and shortness of breath. Like you said, we're just learning so much about this. I'm guessing still the same precautions like we talked about when the pandemic, pandemic first started, the social distancing, wearing masks. I'm guessing that's what we should continue doing for the next couple of weeks, couple of months. Yes, that's exactly right. So we know the number one way you cannot get sick by getting COVID-19 is to not be around somebody who has had the virus or is exposed to that. And the best way to do that is to practice social distancing. So stay six feet away, stay at home as much as you can, wear a mask if you go outside. And the whole point of the mask is not necessarily to protect you from the virus, but to protect others. We are trying to protect other people who may be more vulnerable or who may have other comorbid conditions that could get really sick if they get COVID-19. Dr. Samir Islam, always appreciate your insights. We thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you so much.